definitely get this sense that the folks in this video are trapped. But by who? Or what? Hey there, Navy Doc 5184 here. Welcome to another music reaction. Today we're reacting to The Day Of by Nightwish. It's another uh, one of their new album. I think, I don't know if it's released yet. I'll have to double check on that. But um, I did check out Perfume of the Timeless a little bit ago and that was absolutely fantastic. I've absolutely loved everything I've checked out of Nightwish so far. They're quickly growing to be one of my favorite groups to not only just react to but just to listen to really looking forward to this video should be a really good one so we'll go ahead and get started i will leave a link to that video in the description below let's go ahead and get this thing started a new virus has now been discovered you may be by monday groceries. okay okay interesting visual to start off right the bat Interesting sound. Okay. Take shelter, skies are homing. I'm again in second coming. War of the world's the end of history. Take shelter, floods are rising. The wrath of thunder. Very curious on what the concept of this video is. I love that little touch right there with the back and choir. Interesting, very interesting. All right, so right off the bat, I have to get this off my chest. This was a very interesting sound for them at the very beginning. And you know what? Maybe it's only me and maybe I'm only reaching a little bit here. But honestly, the very first vibe I got when I heard like how this started is like I think of um, some of you may know uh, this album, The Pretty Hate Machine by Nine Inch Nails. That's almost kind of like the vibe I got with like the start of this but then i'm not gonna say they kind of went back to their normal sound if there's anything i've learned about nightwish you can't really say they have like um i guess you could say a normal sound like what's great about them is they feel like not so much that they're all over the place it's like if you hear nightwish you know it's nightwish but it's just amazing how it feels like you can get such a different vibe from each song, especially like with each album that you hear from them, which really, I think really shows like their growth as a group. And, you know, I can't, you know, ex display my love for Tomas enough in regards to how he does this. But I got to say of all the Nightwish songs I've heard this so far is got to be the most different I've ever heard from them. And I am honestly here for it. And the visual concept for this video is very interesting. I'm definitely curious to see where the rest of this goes. Definitely get this sense that the folks in this video are trapped. But by who? Or what? Uh, here, my man Ampu. Love it. Absolutely love it. I'm always here for his guitar solos.
You almost get like a weird apocalypse type of sense with this. I also kind of get like a rise of some sort of, or a sense of like a some sort of uprising getting ready to come. If anything, it's almost like this is almost like a battle cry, I guess you could say. If that makes any sense. Okay, maybe I was onto something there. We definitely got a different feel now from these characters than we did before. Interesting. Okay. All right. That was the day of by Nightwish, and that was a very interesting video. And absolutely, I gotta say, this song may climb in my uh, Nightwish rankings. I have a feeling, you know, I feel like I need to stop talking about my Nightwish rankings because it feels like every single time. I do a reaction to Nightwish, it changes, and it's not usually even a small change, it's quite a big change, because, I mean, that, I guess that just really goes to show you just how much, you know, I really have yet to really dive into their full catalog and everything, but I gotta say, I think what I liked about this one is this one felt very different from a lot of the Nightwish songs I've heard, and honestly, that... I always find it impressive when I react to groups and I kind of get used to a certain style in a way. I know like earlier I said, you know, doesn't really feel like Nightwish has a specific style per se, but it's like when you listen to them, it's like you can almost know that it's them off the bat. Whereas with this one, you know, right off the bat, you know, it's kind of like if I would have just listened to that beginning, I that's not something I would have associated in terms of the Nightwish sound so the fact that they did that that was so interesting and honestly I absolutely loved it and I love the sound it, like I said it kind of reminded me of a vibe I got when um I was listening to the song I in fact I think this very specific song that first kind of came to my head was um head like a hole and that was the first song off the Nine Inch Nails album Pretty Hate Machine and that was almost the kind of same vibe I got when I first heard it now, granted, you know, as the song goes along, you know, it got to more of what I would call what I'm used to hearing with Nightwish and everything. But I kind of love the feel I got with that, you know. Now, going with the video, I'm just going to flat out be honest. I am not the, I'm the type where if there is something that is trying to be said in a music video, unless it's absolutely blatant, I usually have to watch it a good 10 times before I even start to catch on to it. I, I unfortunately you know do not have like that outside of the box artistic thinking in a lot of senses there are times where it's like i have it but unfortunately with music videos sometimes it's kind of hard for me to pick up on those unless the actual story is being told in there but at the same time there was like were some things i was kind of catching on and it wasn't even so much me going through because i had to um go and look up the lyrics and see you know if what i was feeling you know initially you know was kind of on track and whether that's the feeling you know they're trying to get with that i don't know but this is basically what i got out of it because 
one of the things that kind of really stood out to me was like the back inquiry when they go you know it kind of definitely gave a real dramatic feel but then there was a part later on it was like right after uh Empu's, uh guitar solo where i was talking about like i got the sense of almost kind of like an uprising but the kind of feeling i got mixed with like the feel of the song mixed with what i was seeing in the video especially like all the characters it almost as if like they're caked in like mud or clay so i'm kind of going to go with that you know even the band which man kudos to the makeup and props department on that they killed it with that that is so they did so good with that I honestly feel sorry for the band. I can only imagine how long it took to get into that, how long they had to stay in that. I can't imagine that being the most comfortable makeup to be in, but boy, but I mean, between that, the color scheme they used, man. One thing I will say is whether you understand what the video is saying or not, they're enjoyable to watch. And I know I don't watch too many Nightwish videos. I normally do like the live performances, but Anytime I do watch their videos, they're fun to watch because they're definitely very interesting and they do a really good job with everything on there. But um, back to the original point that I was going to is, you know, I got the sense because just based off the expressions, you know, it definitely, you know, had this sense um, of like being trapped, you know, or being held captive in a way. You know, you just couldn't really tell by who or what really. You know, you just know that whatever was going on, it was not a pleasant feeling and it was not a pleasant um, situation to be in. And um, I'm not entirely too sure what role the band themselves played in this video, considering they're the only ones that really had any sort of movement. But it's kind of interesting because at the beginning of the video, you know, you overheard them talking about some sort of virus and it makes me wonder if that's kind of what's going on you know maybe I don't know them coming out of it um, like I said I really can't figure out I don't know what to get I just know that it was fun but um, but but that whole feeling and almost like right on cue when I was talking about how the choir felt like you know you got this sense of like an uprising then you just see a complete shift and change in what I'm gonna call the clay people um, because they went from looking trapped um, you know, looking, um, you know, like full of despair to all of a sudden as if they gained like, not necessarily a rage, but you can definitely tell that whatever was going on, they had had enough and they were ready to fight back. And that was pretty much how it ended. Uh, well, besides the band, like dissipating in space, but so I gotta say, honestly, if I was ever to make an anthem, just lyrics notwithstanding or anything like that just based on the sound and the feel i mean this almost feels like a song that's just like you know when you just finally you know i've dealt with something for so long you've had enough and you're ready to rise up against this almost feels like this would be like perfect backing music you know for that especially in a movie you know when people are getting ready to finally stand up to that you know like oppressor yeah i mean man i'm not even gonna lie just listen that kind of gets me bumped up a little bit you know, at the very least to work out or something, I don't know, but I just got, man, where would I rank this in my top Nightwish songs? I don't know, I feel like this might all, you know, instantly hop in the top 10. I mean, the sound of it was great. Floor just, man, what can I say about Floor that I haven't already? And as I said in there, I always live for Empu's guitar solos, no matter how small they are, no matter how long they are, anything like that. I always live for his solos and just like I said with Perfume of the Timeless, I can't wait until they get some videos of them performing this live because man, I can't imagine what they would do with the stage visuals for a song like this. This feels like this would be a song that would be so much fun to watch live. I can't wait until they finally do start doing that and actually um, as of this recording, um, I know by the time this gets uploaded, the song will already uh, probably be out, but I know as of this recording, in two days, Nightwish is due to get another song coming out, so they're really re releasing new videos, like, really quick off the clip, so I'm gonna try to... Oh, actually, considering when it falls, I may not get to it next month, but I'll probably get to it as soon as I can. Um, 
you all check my community posts, I'll be making a post about what I'm doing next month and you know, that'll kind of explain what I'm saying here. I won't get too much into it now, but um, I think I'm just going to end it off by just saying that that was an absolute fun video to watch. Love the song. Once again, Nightwish knocks it out of the park. I really got nothing that I can make any complaints about. You know, it was a fun song to listen to. Definitely going to be a song that gets added to my playlist uh, probably as soon as I get done uh, with this recording. But I'm going to go ahead and leave it there. And thank you all for stopping by and hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, make sure you hit the like button. And if you have not subscribed to the channel already and would like to see more of my Nightwish reactions, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can be aware of any time a new reaction gets uploaded. And speaking of my Nightwish reactions, feel free to go ahead and check those out as well. And um, I will catch you all down the road.